Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Ricardo. And today on the show, we're about to make poinsettias. For this project, you need some scissors, red cardstock or red construction paper. You need a hot glue gun with the glue sticks. You will also need a pencil. And you will also need some glitter balls, but they're optional. I found these at Hobby Lobby. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Yep. Let's go. Okay, guys. First, we fold it. Let's fold it right now to see what I'm doing. Okay, like a book. And then you fold it again. Okay, folks, after you fold it, the next thing you have to do is draw a flower petal. So think of drawing like a raindrop. Make sure you have a point at the, the top and a brown bottom. Raindrop or a teardrop. Okay guys, <clears throat> now that we got our raindrop, teardrop, our flower petal of course, we're going to cut it out. You should have about four, but we want lots of these, so I want you to do this about, I'll say, four more times. Make four more just like this. What we're about to do just to fold them like a comb. Yep, only at the top, guys, not the whole thing. Like she said. And then you hot glue it. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Okay, and this project is for adults. And maybe your older teenagers. Do not let anybody too young to handle the glue gun do this. All right, folks, we're all done making our beautiful flower petals. We made about 16 of them. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. All right, next you need to make a foundation or a base for your flower petals to sit on. So you need to get another piece of cardstock and find a circular object. Something about this size. Okay. See? There we go. Now we're getting ready to lay out those beautiful petals. So your point is going to go in the middle. It might help to just draw a circle in the middle so you know where to point each petal. And here we go. Hot gluing them down. probably get up to I'll say six seven or eight let's see how many we could get on here so I got space to put one more right there so 
folks. I have I have uh, eight petals on this one circle. See that? It's so beautiful. And now we're gonna go in between each petal and glue down another one, just like that. Okay? We're gonna go in between. This is not hard at all. And it looks like I'll be able to fit just one more petal right here. One more petal. Alright guys, we just did an advanced version of the poinsettia. Now we're going to do a very quick, easy poinsettia that anybody can do from the ages of three and up. So, remember we cut this circle out for the foundation. You're going to do the same thing for this poinsettia. You need a strong foundation our circle and like once again you need some construction paper this time you're going to need about two sheets of paper construction or card stock you're going to fold it in half just like that and you're going to cut along the crease so you should have about four rectangular sheets of paper. You're gonna stack them up together. Now your younger children, they may have to do this one at a time or two at a time because they don't have strong fine motor skills yet. But what they have to do is fold this back and forth just like a accordion, like a fan. Mm -hmm. Like when you wanna make one of those little paper fans, you do it back and forth like so. Fold forward, turn over. Fold forward, turn over. Fold forward, turn over. Fold forward, turn the last over. Fold. You want to smash it together as hard as you possibly can. Just like that. And then you're going to take these fellas apart. All of them. Okay, just like that. Then you're gonna grab one of your let's call these half paper fans. Just like that. Now I can cut these by eyeball, but some people may need a pen to draw whatever shape they want to make their poinsettia. You probably want to make a pointy poinsettia or a round one, but I think I'm going to make a, a, let's make a round one. So you're going to just cut around like that, a curve on the top, just like that. And you're going to do that with each one of your paper fans you just cut 
Now I'm eyeballing this, but if you feel like you're gonna mess up, take that first one you cut, put it on top of that one, even it out at the bottom, hold it tight, and cut around it so that you will make the same shape each time. And I'm gonna do that again. Okay, you have all four of them cut and they should all be even. All even together. Now that that's done, what you're gonna do next Is gonna, you're going to connect these together using regular glue or the hot glue gun. Either way works. It's like a, a puzzle. You're putting it together. You see that? I got one part going up with this sheet of paper. This part is going down and you're going to connect these together just like that please connect it like that or else it's going to be messed up you want to keep your zigzag pattern okay keep that zigzag pattern up meets with down and down meets with up You must keep that pattern, okay? Now, I only connected three, three papers. This time, you could do four if you like. So, it's all one unit now. Like an accordion. So, now, we're going to fold them up. You like accordion, Ricardo? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't listened to that stuff in their instrument. I have never learned about an accordion until I saw it on Family Matters show. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember that show with Steve Urkel? He used to always play the accordion. Yeah, and all he the used time. To serenade Laura. Oh, okay, let me get back to business. Okay, so you guys just saw I made this into one unit. And what I'm doing now is turning it into a flower. I am going to let these meet together just like that. See how easy that is? Now you're going to glue it together, but maintaining that pattern, okay? Watch how I maintain it. This time... They're going to go on top of each other, connecting with the uh, crease. Uh, Ricardo, you think you can aim this over my hand so they can see it? Yeah. Aim the camera. I really want them to see how I did that. To maintain my zigzag pattern, you're going to put crease on top of crease. It's that simple. going right on top of crease and it's gonna pop up like that and it's fine see so that's where your foundation comes in to keep it from popping up like that you see okay. that so let's put some glue on that foundation okay we're gonna keep the middle together Put it on top of that foundation and just hold it for a while. Now, if you're going to use regular glue, which you can do, uh, you're going to want to put something heavy on top of it to hold it because you're not going to want to hold it with your hands forever. 
Put something heavy on there, maybe 15, 20 minutes until the glue stays. And you can see mine is uh, all ready to go. And now what I'm gonna do is add some bling balls right in the middle. Once they get dry with the regular glue, decorate them any way See, you like. That's the simple variation of the poinsettia. All right, folks, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to support the book, Creek Creek, Creek, Creek Too Scared to Sleep. sleep.